In my view, <clears throat> the person appearing before this committee is in a category of excellence, something the country should be proud of, and she will have a chance to make her, get, her case to be a worthy successor and to become the ninth member of the Supreme Court of the United States. On September the 26th, Judge Amy Barrett was nominated by President Trump to the Supreme Court. Who is she? She uh, is a judge sitting on the Seventh Judicial Circuit. She's highly respected. She was a professor at Notre Dame. Three years during that tenure, she was uh, chosen by the students to be in the best professor, which I'm sure is no easy task at any college. Uh, she's widely admired for integrity. She grew up in New Orleans, graduated from Rhodes College in Memphis, Tennessee in 1994, graduated summa cum laude and first in her class from Notre Dame Law School in 1997. So academically, she's very gifted. She clerked for Judge Lawrence Silberman on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit, and then for Justice Scalia on the Supreme Court. She practiced law in Washington, D.C. She joined the faculty at Notre Dame in 2002. She's published numerous articles in prestigious journals, including the Columbia University of Virginia and Cornell Law Review. She's been a circuit court judge at the Seventh Circuit since 2017. She was confirmed to that position in a bipartisan, with a bipartisan vote. She has heard hundreds of cases in that capacity. She said, I clerked for Justice Scalia more than 20 years ago, but the lessons I learned still r resonate. His judicial philosophy is mine. A judge must apply the law as written. Judges are not policy makers, and they must be re resolute in setting aside any policy views they might hold. She will give her statement, but I think that is a good summary of who she is. That's who Amy Barrett is in terms of the law. In terms Amy Barrett, the individual, she and her husband have seven children to adopt it. So nine seems to be a good number.